In the late 2000s, St Mark's Anglican Church in Elmhurst had dwindling parishioners and was in dire need of funds. As a final effort to help save the church, a group of locals came up with a sweet idea, making and selling a food that was close to their hearts, Christmas cake. We started about 15 or 16 years ago to um, meet a need and it's just snowballed. Ever since I think I was the first one, Karen said to, you know, like I've got this great recipe and I kept thinking, oh no, I don't, oh, fruit cakes take so much time, but this one doesn't. It's a really good recipe. 16 years later, Kate Kay, Jennifer Peacock and Marlene Price are still going and in that time have not only raised enough money to keep the church open, but even make improvements to the historic building. They begin making the cakes a few months before Christmas and sell them all over Australia and the world, including to one regular customer in London. Oh, look, it's pretty simple these days. We don't really need to do a lot of um, coordinating. We just, everyone knows what their role is. And once the ingredients are sourced, it's just a matter of get going, do your bit. Quite a few go to Melbourne and, and around the district, um, but as we, we do actually send um, one to Europe, up uh, to London each year. A um, couple go to Canberra, so yeah, and, and a couple go to WA that I know of, so yeah, they get around. The work is no cakewalk. It requires hours to prepare them, and over the years, sadly, several bakers have passed away or become unavailable. There were some concerns this year as to whether they would have enough people to get by, but each time they managed to get them sold, and this year had some help from other people in town. We start probably about May is when we get going. There's a bit of pressure to get started. I always feel until we get going, I, I worry about it. But once we get underway, things just fall into place. Oh, I think it's brought us together, don't you? I yes, think, you know, as a, as a, yeah. as a, a team, um, you know, we're pretty coordinated and we back each other. And um, as I've said before, we've never had a, an issue with anything. We've always got each other's backs and, you know, that's important. You can't, nothing's successful if you can't work as a team. The three cooks have some tips on making the perfect Christmas cake. Yeah, lots of lots of sherry, lots of beautiful butter and homegrown eggs and yeah, apple and honey and yeah, so it's a pretty nice rich recipe. And they say that helping St Mark's is just the cherry on top. The cakes always sort of make people aware of the church, which is really nice. And sometimes they'll buy a cake and come to church just the odd time. But it's important to keep the church open. You know, as for religious reasons as well as for um, community and, and heritage. Because if we lose that, the whole town's lost. We've got nothing at all. It brings us all together and um, it's just a great fundraiser. And um, yeah, we just get used to um, every season um, getting the bowls out and mixing away until we've done our quota. And um, yeah, it all goes back to the church.